my sister, we have definitely haven't got the same taste in men at all, and we are completely different as well. She's like mm. a proper geek and like. But all your men are different. You've had a bit of a pick and mix buffet. Yeah. <laughs> To you yet? <laughs> we haven't got on to Miss Perfect here yet. I know, not me. I'm a work in progress. <laughs> I like that. Like my life is a bit like a soap opera. I freely admit, and it is true that when I got divorced from husband number two, um, he moved out into a hotel because he said room service didn't answer back, <laughs> and, and he's much happier uh, temporarily living in a hotel. Anyway, after a few months of me living by myself, I rang him up because he was my best friend, even though we were just divorced. And I said, um, do you think you can do me a favour? I'm really fed up being by myself. I'd like to have a boyfriend, but I can't possibly go on a date. I've got no idea what you do on a date, and you know what I'm like. I put my foot in it in the first <laughs> five minutes. And he said, I've got just the bloke for you. I think I've thought of someone. And he introduced me to this guy who was so fantastic, absolutely fantastic, that I married him. <laughs> the next one, nine months later, got married. So your ex-husband introduced you to your future husband? Yeah, to husband number two introduced me to husband number three, who well, I then married, and then I discovered... <laughs> Husband number two had had an affair with husband number three's uh, partner before I came on the scene. Talk about pick and mix, you're just as bad. 